and it was Minecraft feature! Oh my goodness, she filled the portal! Fake Minecraft speedruns are hilarious because they're terrible at hiding the fact that they cheated. These are the funniest fake Minecraft speedruns. This speedrunner starts off in the air, then they approach a wish.com recreation of a tree, and when they break it, inside is a bunch of items. Planks, sticks, and apples. Buddy, who are you trying to fool here? So they make a crafting table and craft some tools. A pickaxe, an axe, a shovel, and a- wait, what was that? You can hear the sound of someone breaking blocks! Well, they walk towards the sounds, and there's a gigantic hole. The speedrunner jumps down this suspicious ditch, and they fall directly into an ancient city. What in tarnation? They try to make a stone pickaxe using tough blocks, but it doesn't work. And all of a sudden, cobblestone just appears out of thin air. Okay. They craft a stone pickaxe and mine a ton of iron ore. But how are they gonna smelt that iron ore? Well, more cobblestone is just pooped from the sky. So they craft a furnace, make an iron pickaxe, and then they conveniently find diamonds. They leave the ancient city, and on their way out, they walk right past a warden. And it just stands there. The speedrunner runs through a lush cave, places their furnace, and they waste a ton of time smelting their four stacks of iron. But it's okay, because their portal just starts making itself! The speedrunner suspiciously walks to a specific area of the cave, but keep a close eye on their experience levels. There's an extremely subtle cut, and they walk back to their magical nether portal, and out of nowhere, the speedrunner suddenly has flint in their inventory. They craft flint and steel, light the portal, and enter the nether. And sometimes in the nether, pro speedrunners will utilize a strategy called render distance manipulation. This speedrunner tries to do that, but instead they just start changing all of their Minecraft settings. Yeah, I don't think turning clouds on and off is gonna do anything for you, buddy. So he explores the nether and- Wait, why is he walking off that cliff? What? Yeah, I kid you not, the path he's walking on is literally building itself. Well, he follows his yellow brick road and after a while it leads him right to a bastion. The speedrunner actually finds some really good loot in the bastion, like blocks of gold and golden apples. But I have a feeling the piglins here are paid actors, because the speedrunner throws iron ingots at them and they get 13 ender pearls. Maybe changing the cloud settings did do something. They make their way out of the bastion and back to their magical pathway, heading back to the nether portal. And once the speedrunner is in the overworld, they start using questionable methods to locate the stronghold. They start placing random blocks and signs with numbers on them. This guy's a real rocket scientist. But he presses F3, lines his crosshairs up with a very specific angle, and throws an ender pearl. And as soon as he lands, he just starts digging straight down, violating the number one rule in Minecraft. But someone's gonna have to explain to me what he did, because somehow it worked. Yeah, yeah, he dug straight into a stronghold. Yeah. And on top of that, the end portal only needs two more eyes of ender. But wait a second, when did the speedrunner get this blaze rod? He makes blaze powder and crafts an eye of ender, completes the portal, and enters the end. And so far, maybe the speedrunner could have gotten away with cheating, but when they're in the end, they walk to the edge of the island and they find Iron Man? Uh -huh. This one was legit. This speedrunner spawns in the middle of nowhere and runs around for a bit. But wait a second. The speedrunner only has four hearts and no hunger bar? What in tarnation? As they explore the world, they locate a village. The speedrunner rummages through the houses and finds some decent loot. An iron pickaxe, an iron sword, three obsidian. They continue exploring and on their journey, they kill some pigs for food. But the pigs are getting thrown super high. Something's funny and it's not my low subscriber count. After spending a few minutes punching pigs into the sky, the speedrunner conveniently finds a ruined nether portal. And they have just enough obsidian to complete it. Coincidence? I think not. But there's just one problem. They don't have flint and steel. Well, they somehow managed to jump onto the top of the nether portal, and on top of it is flint and steel. Thanks, Mo Yang. So they light the portal, enter the end, I mean nether, and everything seems normal. Until I started listening to the audio for the speed run, I noticed that every time the player jumps, he sounds like... Mario? Nah, that can't be possible. So they waste a ton of time in the nether until they walk into a dead end. And watch what happens to see if you can spot what's wrong. The speedrunner very subtly made a cut to the speedrun, and after the cut, they travel directly to a bastion. In your dreams, buddy. They find some gold blocks, mine them, and turn them into ingots. Then they find a piglin conveniently trapped behind a wall. But instead of trading with it, they look up, break the block above them, and they get three ender pearls. Then they give their gold to the piglin. I don't think the speedrunner understands how trading works in Minecraft. After their completely legitimate means of trading, they continue exploring the nether until they reach a lava lake. Now, I was expecting them to, oh, I don't know, bridge across it, but instead, yeah, somehow they just bounce their way across the nether. They eventually find a nether fortress and punch their way through some blazes, getting three blazer odds. And once again, they get right back to bouncing on the lava. But wait a second, is that a nether portal? Did the frame to this portal just grow legs and walk away? So he enters his bootleg nether portal and returns to the overworld. The speedrunner crafts 
size of Ender, throws one, and goes in that direction. And on their way to finding the stronghold, they instead find a water slide? And it leads them directly to the stronghold. What in tarnation? So they find the portal and it has two eyes missing. Must be a lucky coincidence. So they fill the portal and wait, why are they going to third person? Is that Mario? Yeah, here we go! Yeah, This baloney head just got the new Minecraft speedrun world record, playing as Mario. This speedrunner starts off by finding a village. They get frostwalker boots and test them out on the water. Then they mine some coal, harvest pumpkins, and walk on lava. Wait, this is the wrong footage. This is the luckiest speedrun I've ever seen. They start off right outside of a desert temple. The speedrunner breaks this tree, and this must be a new 1.19 feature, because under this tree is buried a treasure chest. They find 64 oak logs, and the speedrunner says this. Yo, 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 I think this is like one in a billion chance. So they enter the desert temple from the top of it, but while they're breaking the block, they have even more to say. It seems like it's looted. Yeah, it was definitely looted, buddy. We know you removed this pressure plate. They jump to the bottom and find stupid lucky items. Netherite armor, a diamond pickaxe, and 64 notch apples. The speedrunner breaks through the TNT, and they find diamond blocks, but it gets worse. Beneath the diamond blocks is the end portal. What in tarnation? Well, despite this speedrunner's miraculous luck, they waste a ton of time digging back up to the surface. Right outside of the desert temple is a ruined nether portal, and the loot inside of the chest is questionable. A netherite hoe? Okay. But they do get obsidian, a fire charge, and more notch apples, as if 64 weren't enough already. So they fill in the nether portal, but again, they waste a ton of time trying to find iron and flint. So the speedrunner searches the temple again, and after a few minutes, they finally realize they can use the fire charge to light the nether portal. This is painful to watch. So they light the nether portal and enter the end, I mean nether. And you know, it looks pretty normal. There's some netherrack, some trees, a chest that says do not take but we don't have to worry this speedrunner's a good guy he's not gonna cheat and he opened the chest also there's ancient debris right in front of them but they're so good they don't even need it so the speedrun returns to the overworld and again they go back to their desert temple diamond shrine end portal bonanza fill the portal with eyes and enter the end but wait a second something's wrong and i'll just let the speedrunner tell you where's the ender dragon out of nowhere someone starts typing in chat saying i already killed the ender dragon you will have to face me <laughs> the speedrunner fights in a grueling battle against this Alibaba.com Ender Dragon, but halfway through, the Ender Dragon sets their game mode to survival. This is painful to watch. And just like that, this speedrunner secured the world record 100% legitimately. Subscribe and like. Hey, you heard the speedrunner. Subscribe.